Claire, and guess what? It's May, and June comes after May, and you know what that means. Summer! Now, summer is great for a lot of things, like tanning and shopping and vacation. Some of you may already know, I just got back from New York City, and so I consider myself a traveling expert. So the least I can do is give you a few of my tips. Today, guys, you're going to learn how to pack like a pro. Step one, you've got to get some luggage. Now, I'm sure you've been told to pack light, but I say it doesn't hurt to be overprepared. If you can't decide which backpack to bring, bring them all. So I have these bags that I want to take with me, so let's get filling. First, we need to lay out all of our clothes for the trip. Let's say I'm going out of town for a week, so I need to pack clothes for three weeks. Someone also once told me to wear my bulkiest clothes on the plane, but I say, why are you wearing bulky clothes in the first place? Because that sounds really unstylish. Anyways, I have 20 outfits here, one in every color of the rainbow, so I am prepared to never clash with any of the people I'm traveling with. Shoes. It's important to bring shoes for every possible scenario. Just because you're going to Hawaii doesn't mean you shouldn't be ready for a blizzard. Who knows, you may want a scuba raffle and they run out of flippers for you to rent. So bring your own. As the goat from Hoodwinked says, be prepared. Now to pack your toiletries and such. I would recommend just bringing your whole bathroom drawer. Toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, mascara, lip gloss, nail polish, and all your soaps so you can shower with the scent that best matches your mood at that time. One of the worst vacation horror stories I have was when Molly convinced me to take one shampoo for the whole week. I had to use my moody scent when I wanted to use my flirty scent. <laughs> the worst. Also, make sure you have your own pillow and blanket. It makes it really easy to sneak any pets you might want to bring on the plane. Sunshine and I have gotten really good at that. Yes we have. Yes we have. Alright, let's zip up. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you once this is closed. Thanks for watching, vacation amateurs. Hopefully I could steer you in the right direction with my brilliant packing tutorial. I know you have been needing this for a long time, you just didn't know it. See you later, bye! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now on to Mail of the Week. This letter comes from Grace. Thank you so much for writing to my PO Box. It was so fun to hear from you. Adriana sent me this next letter. Thank you so much for taking the time to write me. And by the way, I really like your handwriting. This next letter from Audrey was so kind to read. Thank you so much. And by the way, I didn't show this, but on the envelope she said, the sister I never had. Oh, thank you so much. I love to be your sister. Destiny has written to me before, so thank you so much for sending me another letter. It was so fun to hear from you. Massive shout out to Hadley. Thank you so much for this really sweet letter. I love the drawings and everything. Fun fact guys, her grandparents are the ones that own the apartment that we stayed in when we were in New York City.